Good morning guys. Well, today we're going to do some feeder fishing and I'm on the River Thames. Now, this is a back part of water from the main flow of the Thames but it's a swim that looks really nice. I've fished here years and years ago. <clears throat> I used to catch some nice dace, roach, perch, chub, barbel, all kinds. What it fishes like excuse me now I don't know it's coming up to six o'clock a.m. in the morning my rods already set up I'm gonna mix up some ground bait show you the swim and we'll get fishing and see what we can catch um, the water's fairly clear we still we've had a drop of rain but not very much but I do like the looks of this swim and I'll quickly show you it and tell you why I'll show you my setup and away we go I particularly like this swim, as you can see, there's a nice uh, nice tree on my left here, there's a nice tree on the right, you've got the main flow of the river in the middle, there is a flow there but it's not very much compared to what it is, it's very very slow, but I'm reasonably hopeful of getting some nice fish out of here, this looks like quite a nice sort of perch chub kind of swim here so really I've got this swim here and I've got the main swim further out if I want to use it as well plus the one on the left here um, among these or close fairly close to these branches so in theory really you've got kind of one two and then three further out I'm going to use probably the dip see that little dip there between the two trees that's roughly where the feed is going to be cast around that area so I'll use that as my marker so I'll get the float set up mix up some ground bait and let's see what we can catch so this is the Thames between Walton and Weybridge it's closer to Weybridge than it is Walton but as I say I did fish these swims many years ago and uh, really caught some nice fish out of here but we'll see we'll see how it goes it does look a nice swim Plus the fact is, further up there, there aren't many swims you can get down to now, so we'll see. Right, I'm going to mix up some ground bait. I don't know if you've seen my hemp fold lake fishing, but I didn't use any hemp. Hemp fold? What's that? Hemp fold, I mean. Not hemp fold, it's too early in the morning good old hemp got some nice fish meal mix in there yep see that so I'm gonna open up the hemp seed hemp seed is great it's good for all species of fish um, particularly particularly roach roach like it a lot but a lot of other species of fish like hemp seed carp bream chub chub will eat virtu virtually anything they can very opportunist sort of fish. I'll put some hemp seed in there. It's going to be a fairly simple ground bait, nothing too elaborate. But this ground, this, sorry, this ground bait's also got to be put into the feeder combined with white and red maggots. So just mix that up. don't want to make the ground bait too hard because the idea is I'll show you in a minute. It'll be easier if I show you. Drop more water. Not too much. I don't want to make it too sloppy. I don't want to make it too hard. I want it to when it comes when the feeder goes into the water and hits the bottom, that's when I want the ground bait to come out. So I'm not going to press it in too hard because you don't want to come back with a feeder. It's still got all the ground bait in it but the good thing is because there's maggots in there will help break it up when they wouldn't stop wheelie, wiggling around I do things in 
such an awkward way. Got some really, really nice maggots here. So, loads of reds and a few whites. Some of those in with the ground bait. Gives the fish something to sort of scurry around and, you know, look for. Mix some of those in. I will make up some more ground bait a little bit later. Right. Briefly show you the setup. So I've got my eight foot feeder rod. I'm going to get a longer one soon, but this one's fine, don't get me wrong. Very simple. On the end is an open ended feeder, that's what we call a cage feeder. A couple of shots, one there, one here. It's on a link. So if I want to change it, I can. I've got a, I've got a, um, a double A, triple A shot down here. I think you can just see it. And I'm using size 14 hook. And I'm going to put on three maggots. And that's all there is. Just fill that feeder up. So it's got a got a weight on the back there so it lay flat on the bottom like that that's where all your feed's going to come out but if I want to put a heavy one or lighter on I can just unclip it from this little link and change it without having to break down the tackle so there you have it guys and that shot actually will be just right that shot will be just right because the flow out there there's hardly any flow at all so that'll be fine if it was flowing a bit faster, then I would use a heavier shot. Right, so that's the setup. Got a green quiver tip at the end of the rod. But the reason I want to get, there's the green twip. It's still fairly thick. So I'm looking for one of about an ounce. This might be a little bit more, it's a little bit thick. But it'll do for today, it'll be fine. Oh, hi guys, second cast, definitely getting bites, this is really encouraging, I had quite a good one just now, just as I was turning on the GoPro, typical isn't it, <laughs> but there are definitely fish out there. This takes me back this swim so many years ago. But I'm fishing it exactly the same way I used to. I used to get a lot of nice fish out of here. So today could be really good. Of course, the hole always has to be one person that wants to have a nose. You can see the swim now though, isn't it lovely? It's beautiful. I do like swans, but I think we're in. Yeah, we've got a fish on, guys. We've got a fish on. Not a big one, but it's definitely a fish. Oh, no, there's a snag down there. Oh, he's out. What is it? What have we got? Oh, it's a little perch. Well, that's a start. I'm not complaining. Gonna have to sort that split shot out on the feeder. But hey, that's second cast. Look at that. One perch. Lovely. Oh, at last. A different species, guys. Now, this may not be a big fish, but this is a dace. 
And I'm very happy to see a dace. I hope they start returning on the Thames. That's lovely. I know it's small, but a dace is a dace. And that's good. Let's see if we can get some more of those. Dace, roach would be nice as well. It's possible that the perch have moved on and the dace or roach are coming. That's great. I've been wondering about these small fish that are swimming down here and what they are. Well, this year's fry, probably about two months old, and they're roach, tiny little roach. There's hundreds of them down there. So there you go, guys. New fish to get larger. Shows the river's nice and healthy. Let's put these back quickly. Got a good fish here, guys. It's a decent one. Oh, it's a big perch. Oh, it's a really nice perch, this. I pulled the tip of the rod right the way round. Oh, it's a cracking fish. Look at this. Now oh, this is a really nice perch. Definitely a fish worth catching. Oh. Took, the, took the tip of that rod straight round like that. Took it right round. Ah, oh, that's a nice fish. That's well worth catching. They all are. But this, yeah. Very nice. Biggest perch of the day so far. That's a stonker. I mean, they grow a lot bigger, but don't get me wrong, this is lovely. It's a really good fish. Just pulled that tip right round. That's what you want to see. Cough. Woof the bait down straight away. No messing about with this one. Well, guys, come up to five past five. Gonna give it another ten minutes and call it a day. Had a few fish out, some nice perch, roach, dace. And out the three river trips, this one's definitely been the most successful, so that's good. And the rivers now, as we come into autumn, will just start improving and getting better all the time. But we still need some rain to give things a bit of a boost. Hello, here comes some uh, crazies. <laughs> uh, but overall, yeah, it's been a really good day. I hope you've enjoyed it too. And if you have, hit that old thumbs button, won't you? Press the old subscribe button. And, uh, catch you again hopefully next weekend I've got next Friday off so I will be going somewhere but I'm not sure where see you soon from the River Thames and me bye bye